Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is me, Joshua, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little behind the scenes of Windows 8. Uh, what is now, what you're seeing right now, is the Windows 8 developer preview. Um, and just to give you guys a little real crit, uh, bleh, a quick recap on what's going on, um, I had just got through installing this. Um, I would say the install was pretty pretty fast um, setting up an account on or from my live ID uh, was a little different than what you would normally do setting an account within the computer um, I think you have to have an internet connection I'm not sure if that's correct but that might be a little bit of a turn off for me um, and there it was an online uh, setup so that's basically I think what we are required to need to go ahead and uh, run this Windows 8, um, hopefully not. Um, also, I've been hearing about the cloud activation, how um, you're going to have to activate online now. I'm not sure if it's going to be given an option to use it as a trial or call uh, Microsoft and activate it over the phone. Also, I don't think, for those that know how to crack, I don't think it's going to be crackable. However, I don't give my hopes up for those guys that want to go ahead and try. Um, I think there is going to be a unique key per um, per uh, manufacturer to go ahead and activate this uh, new Windows. Um, and I'm not sure if OEM is going to live up to how it activates. So I um, couldn't really tell you. Um, also, the boot time when I was all done, it was pretty decent. Um, I couldn't really say it portrayed that one video that you can search on YouTube, how this lady booted up in like eight seconds and it was already um, good to go. But as you can see right now, the Metro UI um, and what looks like to be the Windows Mobile interface, um, it seems pretty fluid uh, based off of what I've uh, already experienced. Um, however, if you wanted to go ahead and get to your apps, um, it might be a little different for those um, that don't have a Windows mobile phone. Um, all you have to do is just click on the app that you have. Let's just say for an example, Internet Explorer. You just go right into your um, application. Um, and if you wanted to, you can go ahead and go back to the interface um, of the Metro UI by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard like that. or you can go ahead and hover on the left side and you can go ahead and click and click and click like so and go back to it but anyways um, another thing that I wanted to go ahead and uh, let you guys know um, on my little notes right here is the recent apps of Windows um, like I said can be accessed on the left also uh, you can do the hotkey of Windows and press tab like such like that or you can hover over it and you can scroll with your middle mouse like this I think I think oh, or not oh yeah like that see you can scroll like that and then you just pick the one that you want there you go um, and I think that's about it also, I believe that the mobile apps are going to be compatible with Windows 8. So the mobile apps from Windows 7 phone, um, you're going to be able to run them on the Windows 8 uh, Metro I interface, I think. Pretty sure that's how it's going to happen. Um, also, into the control panel, um, there's a couple features that are somewhat different. This whole thing is different to you guys. Um, it would be similar to the Windows 7 mobile uh, phone guys but um, it's just your basic you know settings that you go to and look at and that's about it um, there's plenty of options to choose from too um, I have all these devices that I can look at and I could sync and then I can go to my home group then my Windows update then you know all that other stuff Alright, so um, let's go ahead and join the desktop. 
um, they have kept the desktop which is a very very big save for me um, and the desktop basically you can guys can see the start orb seems a little bit different and their interface basically looks like Windows 7 almost um, here's a little thing about it there is no start menu option right here if you were to go ahead and click on here you go to this Metro UI interface and uh, there is just no start menu um, the only alternative that I can go ahead and give you guys um, if you guys want to go ahead and sub for is a program called classic start menu and what that does it allows you if you go ahead and install it then click on here go ahead and see your start menu there won't be a start menu so um, you guys are kinda out of luck on that um, but this start menu has so many options to where you can go ahead and customize it so just go ahead and go to settings um, classic start menu and click on that and you're given all these options when you go ahead and click on all settings um, special items, general behavior, windows start menu um, the skins on how it would look I put less transparent that's how it looks right now um, I'd like to go ahead and add more stuff but I guess I just made a little um, stacked icon to where it has everything um, and that's how it looks so it has a lot of options um, you guys can go ahead and be given the link from the info bar which you will see right underneath the video um, it's called classic start menu I'll be providing it um, just like a friend provided it for me alright um, as far as the Explorer goes um, you guys can see that there's a new ribbon that looks similar to the Windows to our office 2007 and the office 2010 ribbon um, it looks a little different for those that don't that love it or loathe it you guys have an option you guys can either keep it or for those that don't like it you guys have an option um, instead of complaining about it Microsoft allows you to do something about it and what that is is you take your mouse and bring it over here and you just minimize it and it's gone and it's out of your hair that way you know there's no more complaining about it so um, as long as that's there as long as you guys are happy that it's there you know we're we're all good um, so as long as the ribbon is out of your way you should be good no more complaining so at least we got that out of the way alright so um, let's see also the new task manager is a little different than what we're accustomed to um, a lot bigger actually you can actually fully um, um, do the window um, it has a bunch of you know resources that you know what it's doing um, what it's not doing all the performance um, CPU network and all this other stuff um, the app history um, startup um, which is pretty cool and the details and services of other various programs and services um, here I think suspended means if you are running the program and if it so happens that you get out of that program it'll be suspended however it'll be ready to run however it won't be using the CPU usage especially if you're running a tablet this thing on a tablet it's suspended so you can go ahead and uh, conserve battery and that's genius um, I don't get that on my Android tablet and that's pretty cool um, I'm actually recording too so that's taking up like about six percent but uh, let's see also you can go over here to performance and look at another geeky type uh, deal um, the resource monitor and see more stuff about your system and what it's doing and uh, let's see yeah and I think I mentioned about the details about your hardware and the usage of the programs too right um, overall the Windows 7 or the Windows 8 developers preview it seems just so much more snappier you know I mean not snappier as in the snap feature but just snappier on how the window opens and the Explorer um, and the Explorer is the one that opens up these windows um, it goes into these um, for example I had a little flash drive and I copied the Windows 7 developer preview file into um, a flash drive on Windows 7 
um, at the peak of its transferring, it started being a little non-responsive. I did the same thing on this operating system, and it wasn't um, not non-responsive, and it kept on going, and it kept on transferring without it stopping or stalling or being non-responsive and graying out. So I kind of like that. Um, and it just seems like it it's very light. Um, it just seems very light, and it can do anything. And uh, it looks like it's capable to run on any computer, even if it's like a 500 megahertz uh, performing laptop or desktop. Um, all the programs, as far as I'm concerned, they don't all work on this operating system. You know, it's um, the manufacturers and the software companies, they haven't optimized their programs to be compatible with this operating system because it's not even beta yet. Um, I know Driver Max isn't going to be working on here, and I know Fraps, the recording screen, is not going to be working. I'm sure a couple others aren't either. Um, and uh, that's basically it for the application. So don't install a program then complain about it because, you know, that's just the way it is. It's not Windows 7, it's not Vista, and it's not XP. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, my thoughts on it here, um, the interface looks pretty cool. I mean the Metro UI. Um, I kind of like it. I like the full screen features that it has on it, um, like so. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of apps that we can go ahead and use. And uh, the performance on it, I mean how it quickly transpires to another page, I mean it just, it's very, very awesome. Very, very awesome. Um, it seems like it's going to be cost effective. Hopefully Microsoft doesn't have the $300 price tag because I think I'm going to end up having to buy this operating system and I don't really want to have to spend over $200 for an operating system. Um, also, with the Metro UI, I do think it's a little risky um, that they're doing this, but hey, you know what, if they're going to be able to integrate their mobile apps with this, you know, more power to them. Um, Anyways, uh, if you guys have any thoughts on what you've just seen, let me hear them. If you have any dislikes or likes about them, uh, go ahead and comment. Voice your opinion on it. Um, be a little mature about it. Have a reason on why you hate it or why you actually like it. Um, and I will more likely respond to you guys. All right. You guys have a good one. Take care.